for it. I'm so excited to cover the team this year. I will be covering the entirety of the 2024-2025 season for the Clippers here at the Sporting Tribune. I'm so excited for that. I will be your guys' uh, insider access. I'm going to be doing player interviews, going to practices, going to every game, uh, hopefully, God willing. Uh, but again, I'm going to try to be the fan's voice here. I always want to bring a fan's perspective. I've been a fan of the Clippers for 14 years. I've always been very passionate about this team, and I'm so happy to cover the team for everyone. Uh, again, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, but this stadium, it is top notch. It is top class. It is from the inside out, all the intricacies, the concourse, everything you'll see that I show here is going to be, it's really luxury. And I'm so excited for, for Clipper fans to experience this. So again, I'm in awe. I'm dumbfounded to actually be here. It's almost near completion. There's still some things going on, but the Bruno Mars concert will be the official open on August 15th. And then we'll have a preseason game here. Uh, we're gonna have a preseason game in Front Wave Arena down in Oceanside. But again, this is the home of the Clippers and we're gonna have so much content to come for you guys at the Sporting Tribune and all my personal pages at Money Mo Media. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you enjoy this tour of the beautiful Into a Dome with planes above us. So imagine those on game days, uh, when we're, we're away, everybody can come here, hang out. This will be a three, uh, every day you guys can come here, hang out. There, this is where, this is really the hangout. So of course over here, be the 5,000 uh, square foot uh, flagship store, uh, the biggest in the NBA. We got a full size outdoor basketball store. The flagship store, the main store for the Clippers. So you can go and get all your merch. Beautiful screen. 4K screen. The full basketball court. Thank you, Steve. You're a legend. This is right in front of the main entrance. And this is what it looks like inside. It is palatial. It is beautiful. I think these are the, the offices for everyone. And again, there are still people working everywhere, but this place looks amazing. Another concession. I love that they have a plethora of them. Like every 10, 20 feet, they have concessions. So you can just get in and get out. I really like that. So the Clippers are doing it where there are no TVs in any of these concords. If you look, there's no TVs because they want you to just get in here, get out, use the restroom, get back to your seat, which is awesome. And they're going to make it. They said two minutes is how long it's going to take for you to get out here, get what you need and get back to your seat. More bathrooms. I can't emphasize how many bathrooms there are here. And, you know, obviously we talked about it a lot and it's been a lot of talk about the bathrooms, but literally every 50, 100 feet, there's more bathrooms. And I, that, I love that about this arena is that you can just get in and get it's out. the wall with all of, it looks like almost all of the high school teams will be able to find things there. Find your school. There's one missing. Actually, no, that's a, that's a power outlet. But this is where they'll all live and they also have it over here as well. More of the uniforms. Every high school in California has their jersey up here, which is awesome. This is the Into a Dome. Look at that halo board. And it's not going to come across on the video, but just staring at it, it is massive. Massive. This, <laughs> this place is amazing. All the lights have the ability to be turned on, dynamic LEDs, they can change colors, flicker. Um, so the seats, try to get this. Fandom lives here and they like a nice plush, really, really cushioned seat. It's not plastic. They have cushions and it. it's kind of like a, I wouldn't say it's polyester, like but it's very nice. Um, here are the lights that you get to flash on and off. Um, here's what they look like on. That's what they look like on. And so let me see if I can get that for you. 
They're controllers that have pressable buttons, clickable buttons at every single seat. Every single seat has power to it. Every single seat has a controller. Every single seat has dynamic LEDs. No other arena is doing that. The, the hoops are down, stanchion is down, but again, I can't emphasize enough how close to the action you will be uh, in these sections. I wanted to show what it looks like from the third or first row all the way up the wall. This is what essentially players are going to leave. It's just a continuous row of seats. But the Clippers bench is over there, and they'll come through the club seats and the VIP section um, through their uh, through their locker room, and that's where all the Clippers stuff is down there. So it's actually underground. All their stuff is underground, and then they'll come up to their their bench, which is over there. But this is the away bench, and then you can see how close it is to the wall. <laughs> have a whole bunch of fans yelling at them. It's going to be a great environment. Wow, being here is much better than what I've seen on social media and all that. Being here is way better.